Hi, my name is Derek Kanye. Once again, it's Wednesday, and this is the Derek Kanye Experience, and this is my wall of narrative where I get a chance to just share how I feel. And, you know, get some feedback if you feel like it. There, there's the walls there. And uh, I have to get a few things off my chest. And tonight's subject, uh, wait, let me go back. I decided to tell a little bit about myself, uh, a little bit every time I do my live broadcast. I've been here 20, over 25 years in the summer. Uh, somebody just asked me a couple a couple hours ago how long I've been here. I, I'm in I'm, I'm in Stockholm, Sweden at as, at the moment. Uh, I'm an artist, uh, recording artist, uh, singer songwriter, uh, label owner, production team. Uh, uh, got a few clubs I'm running. Um, very thankful for what what's been given. Very thankful. I've worked hard to get where I am. I've been here over 25 years, like I said before, and I've been at it since then, since I got here. And it's never you know, uh, a problem when it, time goes fast when you're having fun. So I've been having fun, so uh, even, even though it's work. But anyway, back to the subject of bitterness. I wanted to tackle this, this subject, bitterness, because this is a silent thing. Bitterness is not one of these big, um, uh, big essential sins. I, I, I took some notes here, so I want to make sure that I get these notes out. Um, um, I'll, I'll say like this. Everything is described in our lives in the scripture and in just in general. Everything that's here deals with seasons, for example. Everything here has a season, four different seasons. It's just the way it is, you know. And... So everything is in, is, is, is in life is compared to a good gardener. So in the, every good gardener knows that if you let a weed grow, that anything you put, any good gardener knows, for example, if you plant it, it's coming up. So it's very important. That's a whole other subject. But life is compared to big gardening. And you got weeds, and then you got the essential plants. A blessing that's growing with it. A blessing that's growing strong. Then you have this weed that's growing with it. All right? They two come up together. So, so, if you don't rip the weed out from the root, then it's just going to come up again. It's going to come up again. And it's a guarantee to have a harvest. It's going to do a season and have a harvest. Or it could choke out the blessing. Let me explain all of these different things, and I, it's quite crafty how things work, but I'm going to try to be crafty in my explanation on how to explain what's in my heart. Uh, and I might need to take a couple weeks to, have to handle this, because I think it's very important, the root of bitterness, because uh, everybody's carrying something, carrying something like this. Have you ever had a conversation or had it, somebody do you wrong, and... Uh, Everybody, no, let me go back. Everybody has had someone do them wrong. And during the case of them doing you wrong, you don't, you don't get back at them or you want to get back at them or you're thinking about getting back to them and, and it's, you're harboring it and you're going over the lyrics and what they said and how they said what they said and when they said what they said and why did they say what they said. That... You need to check that because that is a good sign that you're harboring bitterness. I personally realize that I do this myself. Anything left unchecked, any unforgiveness left unchecked, or any scenario that you feel that you were done wrong with, done, done wrong by, if it's not dealt with it, it will eventually spring up and take root. And take root means, what I mean by take root, this is a very big thing. If, if you don't deal with bitterness, the bitterness will progress towards extreme anger. That's wrath. If we don't deal with anger, we'll start to actually try to get what we demand what we want. And then essentially uh, start beginning to slander that person or that object of our bitterness in hopes of recruiting others to agree with us. This is how it goes. And then and if it's still left unchecked, then that person is an aim for you to cause harm to. So it can, I mean, if you don't deal with small issues like that, put that fire out of anger and what happened to you and not take it personal. Because it's very difficult. This is a mature thing to do. It's very hard to deal with bitterness. It's very confrontational to deal with bitterness. But you've got to confrontate yourself and try to understand your experiences. My suggestion, and what I'm doing is, personally, 
is that this downtime we have, I'm looking towards myself and trying to figure out how I can better myself, how I can better relationships I've had, how I can heal from some of the stuff that was done to me, how I can see it from another perspective. I wanna bring all these things back up because I don't want it to take root in me. Because if it takes root in me, then it starts taking over me, it starts taking space in my mind, starts taking space in my heart, and then I start getting in all these conversations and, and, uh, and downloading the wrong stuff. Then it's taking root in my heart and it's, it's, it's no, 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 no. So these things are very essential. So I thought the subject would be two ways to spot bitterness. Um, and one of those is a clear example of what I said earlier. Are you replaying the tape over and over the conversation you have with this object of your obsession? It can become, it can become an exception, exception or obsession, I mean. You have to be very careful with that. It can become your object of obsession. Are you replaying the tape? If you're replaying the tape and you're becoming angry again, and the anger is attached already there. So these begin to weigh. See, all this stuff is too heavy to carry. So we're gonna deal with certain subjects that are around the same subject we had all February. But at the same time, we're gonna deal with it in a different way. Uh, we're gonna deal with bitterness right now today. I think, and I think it's very important. If you're playing the conversation over and over and over again, and you're trying to justify what you think should have been done and should have been said. If you're fixated, fixated on the, uh, the interaction and how it happened, or you're frustrated and angry and you have a feeling about this thing and you just can't let it go and it's, and it's you, you keep talking about it and talking about it and talking about it and feeling it in your heart and then all of a sudden you begin to recruit other people. But it's very essential if you keep replaying the tape of the argument or the, dis or the so-called disrespect you think it was or the boldness of them trying to play you that way or, for example, somebody does you wrong and don't realize they're doing you wrong, or they do you something wrong intentionally. It doesn't really matter. It does matter because if you harbor these feelings, it becomes, it takes root and it becomes a fruit. It takes root and it becomes a fruit. Like love is a fruit. Anger can be a fruit. And then you got slander. See, it's very essential that we get this. It's very essential that we get that if we don't dig these things up uh, from the root, they'll keep coming back up and they'll breathe and they'll bring some of their weedy friends. <laughs> so this is just what it is. So the second way uh, of, of, uh, of, of this um, spotting these two, two essential uh, ways of uh, spotting a, a bit of root is when you keep talking about it with other people. And when your mouth becomes out of control, to you're almost cursing them. You're so angry at what they did and what they said and how they played you and who they think they are. Then all of a sudden you begin to actually start and put your mouth on them. We say back over. <laughs> put your mouth on them. So then you begin to curse them, which is you can either bless a person or you can curse a person. Then it becomes you're seriously bitter. Then you start talking and gossiping about that person. You start recruiting different people. If you're doing that, that is called the root of bitterness. And it says in the Bible, it's very, very clear. Let me go what it says in the Bible here. It's very, 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 very essential. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God. That means everybody is <laughs> has everybody obtains the grace. You're not the judge. You're not the judge. God's the judge. It's very, very essential. So make sure you, that you give the same grace that you give to others that God has given to you. That's, that's fair. For me, that is fair enough. So let me keep going. See to it that, no, that no, no one fails to obtain grace of God and that no spirit of bitterness springs up and causes trouble. Or by it, many become defiled. When I say many, when many become defiled, that means this thing can really, really go into a whole nother aspect where it can derail friendships. It can derail, uh, it can steal joy. Um, and, and I mean, it, it, it ruins, it, it can hurt many people involved because uh, you can start doing stupid stuff because of your root of bitterness, which led with only a, dis a disagreement. A disagreement or an argument that led into you 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 can't let it go so you, you, you got to be very 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 
careful because you can't carry love and unforgiveness and bitterness together. So you got to take the choice of which one you want to carry. So, I mean, unforgiveness, bitterness. I mean, sometimes it's, I mean, people treat, are going to do you wrong. This is life. Some people are just going to do you wrong. You can't walk through life without having someone do you wrong or without you doing someone wrong, without even knowing it. It's just the way it is. So be very, very careful that you don't harbor this spirit of bitterness. It's so much to say under this subject. I feel stressed about it, because, but I think I need to take my time with this and maybe take next week also. So I'm going to do two weeks with this whole thing, spirit of bitterness. I think it's very essential that we deal with this spirit of bitterness because, or this root of bitterness because if it does continue to take root, then you cannot harbor joy. You, that's why you have that's why you feel heavy sometimes and don't even know why and that's what I'm saying bitterness is a very silent killer <laughs> silent killer is a silent sin that we oh we just feel justified by it he played me he played me wrong no let it go how do we fight spirit of bitterness let things go try to obtain the same unforgiveness that God gave you that's hard to do, but it's essential for you to grow. It's essential for you to, for you to unwrap. Let's say, for example, if you're an artist, that can cut off your flow of lyrics. It can cut off your flow just in general. You don't want that. It cuts off the mouthpiece of you trying to enjoy your life. It cuts off everything. It starts eating up different things. Anyway, we're going to go back to that next week. I just thought I'd tap into that real quick because I think I think bitterness is very important to deal with it's very 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 important to deal with okay so listen I love you from me to you my name is Derek Kanye I do love you I sincerely love you and like I said before let's take some time to rethink reboot and find out what's really essential to you huh why you we have this down period all right? Listen, I'll be here every Wednesday, if God allows me to be. Every Wednesday sharing a little wisdom that God's, uh, or something that I'm going through, or something that God gave me in my spirit, or whatever the case may be. Oh, we just may have a conversation here. Might have somebody here and doing an interview next time, uh, in about two weeks. All right? So we're going to discuss some of, something else. But listen, next week we're going to deal with the spirit of bitterness, uh, the root of bitterness also, okay? So stay tuned. I'll see you next week, huh? Peace out.